Hello, and welcome to the Biological Engineering Collaboratory. I'm Dominic Berry, one of the co-founders of the BEC, alongside Janella Baxter and Rob Smith. When we set up the BEC a year ago, we had every intention of spending this year organising a workshop so that we could get together with the people we already know working on biology and engineering. Instead, due to the global pandemic, everything has moved online, and this seminar series is our contribution. If you're watching these videos in August, we very much hope that you'll join us for these seminars. They're covering an interesting range of topics from a variety of disciplinary perspectives. If you'd like to attend any given one of them or all of them, all you need to do to register is email me and my details can be found on the BEC website. If you're watching this video in December, just ahead of my seminar, then thank you and I hope you will indeed join us. In my seminar, I'll be sharing my view of what research into biology and engineering could become. And you'll see why I think of this as a necessarily collaborative and interdisciplinary enterprise, because there is simply so much to do. My talk will be organized around the seven ways that biology and engineering can be and have been implicated in each other. This is based on research I've been carrying out over a number of years. Now, I'm not going to tell you what those seven ways are in this video, on the grounds that if you're interested, you'll hopefully come and join the seminar. For each of the seven, I'll present a short historical overview and also explain what philosophy of science might be needed to serve each one and what social scientific research it could prompt. In short, you'll see why I think something like the BEC needs to exist and why we need more people, like you perhaps, to contribute. If you see part of your research either fitting into or informing this agenda, please do get in touch. That's what I want to say about my seminar, but the last thing I want to explain is perhaps even more important. I don't want to see the history, philosophy and social scientific study of biology and engineering develop without the insights and influence of research on non-Western philosophies, post-colonial theory, queer theory or disability studies. All of these fields have something essential to offer an exploration of biological engineering. I'm therefore dedicated to finding this research and bringing these perspectives into the center of my analysis. I lack the competence to do this alone. And so to finish, I would simply like to invite anyone interested in working across or between these specialisms to please get in touch. Thank you.